So, uh, hi everybody, my name is Jan, uh, Jan Miller, and we're about to have a bullet match. I'm going to be playing against Chicago player Daniel Jones. Uh, we have an upcoming match in August, August 25th, I believe, Chicago Chess Blitzers against Florida Blitz team. A uh, 15 player event from each side, everybody plays each other two times. A lot of fun. Chicago is so far undefeated, and I just got a challenge from Daniel. So, we're going to start our first game. Uh, Starting, I got some music on. Let's go. Some weird opening already. Even up a pawn for something I, I hope well that's not too good let's see oh he's being greedy let's see if i can punish him for that uh, i really hope my knight is not going to get trapped over there uh that's very annoying i have to say I don't want to lose my eye in the end, so I'll have to trade queen so I can have the d4 square for my knight f. Um, this playing good. That's not too good for me, but I'm a little bit ahead on the clock, so that's some good news. Uh, if he plays rook e1, I'll have to take on f3 and go knight d4. Uh, so far, I'm down two pawns, but the e5 is kind of weak. Ooh, knight g3, blunder. Let's go. I love this. Okay, I'm going to take on f3, and I have a feeling rookie 5 might be the best practical decision in this position. So now I can take on a2, b2 is hanging. Um, okay, I take there. I check him, I don't let him push, and then I play d4, I start pushing my pawns. Okay, there are a couple of checks he can do to me. Nothing critical, I keep pushing my pawn. Uh, rook f2 seems good, I keep pushing my pawn, and how does he stop it? He cannot. Let's go. Okay. This was only one game. Uh, I want to switch some music. I don't like the way it is. So I guess we're going to start with a second game. I'm sending him the rematch request. Uh, let's see. I don't really like the way I played in the middle game, but this is bullet. So, okay. Uh, second game start. I hope you guys can see it. I don't want to talk about why I chose the I have my own secrets. Yeah, there's a better way to do it, but okay, knight is not He pushes g5 while I push the knight. He plays g5. Well, it, of course, you have to be second. My idea is. Uh, is it back to now Just remember that I'm down a piece, but I have some contemplate. Uh, bishop f3, plus queen g6, it's annoying, so I'll put it back to sneak in place. And I know bishop h3 is possible. This, this is... I feel like bullet, this is extreme. Oh, Rook H4, what is that? Damn, that was bad. I think seven. Oh, damn. That was not good for me. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, that's bad. Okay, this was bad. One one is bad. Some attacks. Uh, like how badly? What 
can I do? Turned it off. I just turned it off. Uh, probably the quality of my play is gonna go down as I turned off the music, but whatever. Oh my God! You telling me I cannot listen to music when I play Bullet? That's fine. All is good. I, I'm trying to figure out what to do in the position. Knight g5 looks. I have e5. D5 is kind of weak. Well, he's going for it. That's a good move. But h6, I can ask him a question. What's going to be his answer? Bishop g4 is annoying. Ooh, he takes. That's probably not good. Bishop f4 should not be a threat. Rook f4, knight f3, uh, bishop f3, bishop h3, queen e7. Ooh. Wait, my queen is hanging. No, yes. No, I take on f4. f3 is hanging. Kind of attackish not really uh, do I have to take there 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 uh, okay I'll take rook f4 and then let's see where this goes oh my god knight f4 that's what I missed this is bad this is bad and I'm down on time I'll have to play this quick really quick okay let's play this 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 ah oh, he takes this one why can't he take the other one okay uh, I'll let him trade queens I don't think I had much choice so uh, my only hope is that I can beat him on the clock, but I'm behind on the clock anyway. Um, G4. Rook F1, G4. Okay. Um, throwing in a couple of free moves. Check him. Bishop F5. Bishop D3. I don't know where this is going. Bam. Let's check him. All I need to do is beat him on the clock. That's all I need to do. Check. Okay. I don't think he's gonna have enough time if I'm gonna. Okay, yeah, it's a draw. Oh, uh, one and a half to one and a half so far. Damn, but of course I'm want to win to support the Florida team. So, but I don't have any music on. That's kind of sad. One of the secrets to playing good bullet chess is good music. I know that for sure. So okay, uh what I want to do. I like I like the opening I got the last time, even though I didn't win that game. Oh, why did it go for this? Not that I fear this, but I knew that he placed this, that's why I played knight f3 first the other game. Um this is a pretty well known stuff. Uh, I have queen c3 and then I start pushing b4. I don't know, those positions seem to be alright, it's just uh, sometimes it feel like, feels like it might be kind of hard to to win in this type of positions. Mm -hmm. um, I need a good plan, a4, not, okay, let's do something crazy. I see what you sent me, Matt. Uh, I do not care about that. It's all fine, rook c1, I get my rook on c7, doesn't look that bad. Uh, queen gets on h3, that can be, oh, or it can get there, which is more annoying. Are there any threats? No, let's go. Um, okay, let's trade the queens off. I have a bishop against knight in the end game. Oh, he doesn't trade, but I want to trade, so just deal with it. Um, okay, I'm going to... Keep being annoying. Rook c1. Not sure where I'm going with this. Uh, I don't have a move. Let's. I. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm playing super slow. Come on. Oh yes, we trade it. That's good. Uh, allowing him to check me. Probably not the best idea I've had, but I'm just trying to play fast and unfortunately not good oof thank you for the rook let's go oh no that was not good okay again beat him on the clock beat him on the clock that's all I need 
check. It's always good to check your opponent because it takes time for him. Let's go. Two and a half to one and a half. I don't feel really good flagging my opponents, but this is what bullet is about. This this is what bullet is. So if you, if you're saying that oh I had such a great position but I ran out of time in bullet, it's kind of like eh, doesn't really matter. So I want to do something. Oof! I wanted to do something different, but he did something different. Uh, I don't know where I'm going with this. Some weird opening rook b1. What kind of move is that? Oh, bishop h5 was not good. Yeah, I can tell that right away. Mm. Okay, g5. Uh, I created myself a weakness on e6, and I'm going to struggle with it the whole game. Just trust me. Um, queen takes. Oof. Pretty interesting. But bishop d6. Are you going to trade? No. Okay. Takes with a queen. Doesn't want to change his pawn structure. Uh, I should go h5, g5, knight h7. I wanted to play, but then I realized it might not be that good. Um, the position is pretty unclear. Honestly, knight of fate. I just don't want to get my rook trapped. Uh, rook came back on f7. I'm going to try to do something on the queen's side, said Jan, and then he kind of stopped everything I wanted to do. This becomes a weakness. Knight d7. Try to trade really quick before he gets played. Knight d3 is an annoying move, and of course he does that uh, before. Okay, I kind of have to. And then I have rook c4 in the end of that line. That is another annoying move he does. Rook c6. Kind of barely holding. I uh, don't want to get into some zugzwang. Oh, oh, let's go. I f I like this because. I, finally, I got some pressure off. Not without his help, but still. Uh, okay, take. Ooh, 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 ooh. Don't tell me I'm not going to win this. Please don't tell me I'm not going to win this. Check. Queen. Bam, bam. Let's go. Alright, there's been five games so far. Bullet is fun. I usually don't play competitive bullet. I don't take it seriously. Uh, don't want to sound. I don't want to sound it like an excuse, but mm, I think that Blitz is better than Bullet in the way that Blitz can really show how good you're doing in chess. When Bullet is just how fast you're doing. Okay, I feel pretty confident about this type of positions. Of course, if we're going to play them correctly, who plays knight f3 first? Only an idiot. And then he plays bishop c8 back. What the hell? Uh, let's, play, let's play castle long. Let's let's have some fun. Uh, king b1, usually good. Such situation, I'm going to let him push me. Because I'm not scared of anybody. Um, I'm thinking of playing bishop f5 at some point. So before knight e2, um, I want to play bishop f5 at some point. Because... Uh, as you can see, he did not castle yet. Uh, sorry, my bullet commentary is not too good. It's really hard to say something smart when you have only one minute on the clock for the whole game. Uh, oof. Queen g6. I'm going to play it anyway, even though it's not a check because he played knight f7. So if he castles uh, short, I have rook g1. Ooh, boy. Okay, let me check him. Checks are good, as you as I told you guys earlier. Checks are good. And bullet bam, another check, another check, and then we're gonna see what's going on. Rook g1 seems like not a bad move. Do I want to have two rooks for a queen? Not in this position. Not right now. I don't want his queen to come to me. So let's do this. Rook g7 seems uh, like an annoying move, and he kind of prevents it. So for queen f5, I'm I'm fine with it. I guess I have not the strongest pawn on h3. But okay, I prune the queen of five. So now, how do I proceed? I'm gonna kind of try to bring my king. If he plays c4, the position opens up even more. I think e4 would be the right move right now. And let's keep putting pressure. I have a check. And what do I do now? e5. 
uh, here, here, not much time, and that sucks. Oh my god! Oh, I, I blundered, but hey, I got lucky. Okay, queen e5, rook g7. Wow. Wow, I did not mean that. I'm sorry if that was a, a dirty trick, but I honestly don't mean that. It was a blunder of a queen, but as it turned out, hey, again, bullet. Wow, there's been six games already. Time flies. Uh, I hope that you guys enjoying it. Uh, I'm having a lot of fun. Okay. Uh, let's think. What do I want to do? Okay, let's play some perk. Perk is some good stuff. Especially in bullet. Ooh, ooh, he knows what he's doing. He knows what he's doing. But sometimes it's good to allow your, your opponent to put that kind of pressure on you. Okay, knight c6. I uh, have some knight b4 ideas somewhere, like right now. <laughs> knight d5. I hope I know what I'm doing. Queen h4, e6 maybe? Mm, okay, let's take. Let's get some. Oh, 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 oh. That's not good for me. That's not good. I'm thinking I've got bishop f3, knight e5 just to spice up position a little bit and I think I kinda have to maybe take and then take bishop e5 because this can end really bad for me okay yeah let's go queen d1 I want it to play somebody's bishop d4 ooh that was bad of me wow well this game is pretty much done but let's see how he's gonna do it I don't want to give up I'll keep fighting his rook g6 a threat probably I'm attacking his rook ooh what is this oh queen g6 damn good job good job that was a very nice tactic um yeah All right, I'm sending him a rematch. Um, let's see. You guys probably already heard about our upcoming match in August, August 25th. They have a team of 15 players. We have a team of 15 players. Everybody plays each other uh, two times, white and black. All right, this game starts. Ooh, he plays it right away. See, he, he wants to avoid some stuff that we got last game. The problem with this position is that my dark square bishop is not that good. But since he played this, I actually think I have a chance to trade it. I should be careful. A3. Okay. Bishop d6. And then let's play something like knight e2. And bishop c3. I don't know. I'm just trying to move my pieces around. See. I don't want to castle yet. Because I think that uh, it might give him some attacking chances. Again, it's bullet. It's just whatever type of position you're comfortable not comfortable playing uh, nice try but I'm not gonna blunder that checkmate uh, not sure if he can put any more pressure well he kinda can <laughs> as he just showed let's play rook h4 let's see what he's gonna do and rook g4 bam let's go she has a bishop on c3 attacks on g7 rook g7 is a threat of the queen moves well, let's go. Is he gonna take? Yep. Uh, it's gonna take a while to to actually win this. It's not that easy. Another rook comes in. Queen g. The good thing is that my position is really solid. Okay, h4. I don't think there are any sacrifices or anything that can happen. So let me try to do something on the queen side. He attacks on f2, and that's annoying. It's, it's super annoying. Um, but again, I'm not scared of it because I have a queen. So. I can afford myself a lot of things in this position. What is this? Um, don't think I'm... Oh my god, what am I doing? Oh my god, I blundered my queen there. Well, that's not good. Okay, let me think what's the best way to play it here. Let me check him, because checks are good. As I taught you guys, you can... Uh, got king f2, g4, so I can check him again. Rook b3, rook f3. Uh,
Ooh, I fired him. But yeah, that queen blunder, that was something. Uh, I was like, what is bishop g3? What's the threat? Rook f1, I got king g2, and rook f2 is not a threat because I have my rook is controlling that square. But All right, how many games was that? Seven, eight games, so only two more to go. This is fun. I hope you guys enjoying it this as much as I do. Let's play some Sicilian. Sicilian is always good. And he plays this thing. Uh, I have no time to remember the theory in this position. The, the thing about that position is that you need to know how to play there exactly. Because you can get yourself in trouble really, really quick. That's what usually happens to me. One of the reasons I probably quit playing Sicilian in tournaments. Uh, Knight f5. I kind of like my position. Uh, not anymore after knight e5. <laughs> oh, okay, let's take and bishop e7. Uh, b6. I don't know. What's bishop c5? What's what is this all about? D5 is weak, of course, but hey, hey, I'll deal with it. Rook c5. Uh, 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 uh. Thing is that he has a lot of time. And in this position, it's very hard for me to think of a way how I can put any pressure on him. But there are ways that he can put pressure on me. Like this way, for example. Queen g3 is a knowing move that he can make right now. I have to do something about rook and a6. Okay, queen f7. Okay, if I get to play rook c6, I think I'm going to be fine. But if I don't, I'm not going to be fine. Okay, rook c6. I'm fine. The a7 is protected by the queen. Uh, okay, I have to go queen d7, and king f7, I can go, are we gonna settle for a draw? Probably not, neither one of us wants this draw, rook c4, let's see where this goes. I have an idea of maybe even push d4 at some point, um, but he is not allowing me, so queen b7 is probably not the best move in that position. Okay, queen b6, let's, let's see if he wants to trade. Probably not. He doesn't want to, but that allows me to push d4. But now I have another weakness, rook c3. Okay, let's go. Rook d3, rook d5, king f7. Let me try to get my queen around somewhere. Queen f7, let's trade. Uh, he's down on time, so right now all I have to do is just flag him. Check. King c3, rook d4, rook d3. Okay, please don't flag me. I would really appreciate it. Ah, how did he know? How did he know that I was going to sacrifice it there? But I flagged him. How did he know that I was going to sacrifice rook e5? Because I went to rook e5 and then he makes a move rook e2. Because all of this is pretty much pre move. Uh, we have one more game, I believe, right? All right. Probably the last one out of the match. The match is only 10 games. Let's do it. Eh. Eh. Let's do it. All right, I'm playing white, I hope. Yes. Uh, you know what? I, I'm not an e4 player, but just for the sake of this match and having fun, let's play. Oh, some Karo can. Um, OK. I used to play those lines for black long, 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 many, many, many years ago. But I know what can be really annoying in this type of positions. Uh, let me play a3, because I don't want to allow any knight before or other things at some point. I, w I thought he was going to play uh, e6, that's why I said that. Uh, let me cast along. Yeah, that's what I was talking about. If I have the bishop at f4, I don't allow uh, the bishop on d6, but unfortunately I had to move it, and I completely forgot to put a deck. So, yeah. Uh, let me go f4. Let me go f5. Start putting some pressure, since he did not castle again. One very important point, he doesn't castle, which allows me this kind of trick. So is knight c6 a good move? Probably is. Uh, knight d8, the queen is protected by rook on f1. Good for me, bishop g5. One of the things in bullet, if you are up uh, material, you want to exchange pieces. Less pieces on the board, uh, less things that can happen. Let's play c6. Oh, okay, let's take. I don't mind him taking on d4, which he pro probably should have done, actually. Oh, he takes on b2. I keep giving him my pawns. What am I doing? The game is still not over, and the match is still not over. So I should stop playing around. 
almost getting myself checkmated. Like, what am I doing? Okay, uh, rook f3, not a good move. What am I, what do, what do I do? Rook g6 is not a move. Rook c7, I don't know. Okay, now he wants to trade. Um, oh. Okay, let's play this fast. Just play this fast, fast, fast. No time for me. Just keep going back and forth because this is what good players do. Ah, I ran out of time. Ah, so this is it. Ten games. Um, the score is six and a half to three and a half in guess whose favor. Thank you. Yeah, the, the last thing is kind of complicated, but. I'm pretty sure that uh, he conf he confirmed his presence. So probably, yeah. Right. Uh, follow me on Instagram. Hey, I don't know. Uh, I think we should be ending the stream now. Um, thank you all for watching. It was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed playing. Thank you, Daniel. Um, it, I played good. Um, it was a lot of fun, and we can do it again some sometime. Oh yeah, trust me. If you know me, you know that I can talk trash. <laughs> uh, quick shout out. Uh, sorry, quick shout out to Matt, who did an amazing job organizing all of this, helping us a lot with the upcoming match in August. Also, shout out to Arnold Banner and Terrence Washington, who are also doing a lot of work for that. Uh, if you guys want to support us, you can donate us because is the, the match it requires uh, some money. So we would really appreciate if you can help us out and love chess as much as I hope that you love chess as much as I do. So. Thank you. Add me on Snapchat. <laughs>